All right. Thanking the Lord for so much. Giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. Hope and pray everybody's doing well. K Ray. Giving a great shout out to my boy K Ray. Finally got a chance to talk to earlier in the all the things we was talking about on the phone. And K Ray gave me this topic. I can't take no credit on. I told K Ray, you need to do this video. And we was talking about getting prepared. And we're going to title it just like you say, K Ray. We get prepared for everything except the coming of Christ. We find time to do everything else. But when it comes to getting prepared, Studying the word of God, living, staying on God, can't do it. I look at how a singer prepares for their songs, whether they sing it in the world or the church. They spend a lot of time practicing day and night, getting it ready so they can do their best. I look at these musicals and how they prepare for these musicals and revivals and let me just get all the way real. How some of these churches can prepare for a bake sale and selling fish plates in the back. All the activities that go on in some of these churches but can't prepare for Sunday school. We find time to prepare for everything except what God has been telling us. Mm. Some preachers wait till the last minute to prepare their sermon. But isn't it amazing how people can prepare and get on one accord for mess? Mm. I look at how football players get in shape and work out to stay ready for the football games. Look at any kind of sport. Look at how people get in shape. Let me hit some of y'all in the world in the head. Ain't it amazing how you can get prepared to sell dope on the block? Cut it up, measure it, stay up all night and day on the block all night. You even look at how a hoe prepare to get ready to go home. Mm. Some of these older men get prepared with a Viagra and younger men. They X pills and Viagra. They getting prepared because they want to make sure that they have the best sex that they can. I look at how people can't really get on one accord. For getting ready to go to the club. I'm going to pick you up. When it, but when it comes to getting on car, let's get ready to take some of these people to church. Can't do that. Mm. I look at some of these folks with all this fake shouting and stuff. They, oh, some of these people, let me keep it real on these praise teams and choirs. They when their favorite song come on in the club. They the last one out there on the dance floor till the song ends, and they the loudest one on the dance floor. But when they go in the church, they won't even say hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Even when people are getting ready to commit a crime, a robbery, a robber commits his crime, he gets prepared. He need a getaway driver. Mm. But why when it comes to getting prepared for the second coming of Christ, what's the problem? That's why the Bible said it was going to be just like the days of Noah, K. Ray. People was partying, chilling, getting married. They wasn't worried about nothing. Noah kept telling them that rain, that flood was going to come, even, even though they never seen it. Noah never even seen it, but he told them. See, that lets me know also when you be obedient to God and do what he say do regardless of what people think about you, God ain't going to steer you in the wrong direction. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. But folks will not study a lot of times nowadays, but not everybody. We won't get prepared for Sunday school or Bible study. We won't get prepared to feed the needy. We won't even get prepared to close the, close the homeless. You can go sit in the movie theater and watch your favorite movie without even complaining, but you won't even sit in Bible study for four minutes. You can get that filth in your mind and look at a dirty magazine, but won't open up that Bible for one minute. Mm. A lot of people gambling with their soul, K. Ray. People walking around here like we got so much time to get it right, and really you don't. 
It's amazing how you can plan a party and invite so many people. It's amazing how we can get the microphone in these churches and I always say, invite somebody, but we won't get the church in order. It's sad what's going on. Even a prostitute gets her body right before sex. Let me hit with some, some more of my partners that love when I keep it real. Because I even got pimp homeboys. Even a pimp get on one accord with his hoes and make sure they standing on the corner. But why, when it comes to this word of God, we can't get prepared for it, nor study it, and show not live it? Mm. When it comes to spreading this word and staying on God, what's the problem? Let me mess with some of these folks who sit in the corner with their little secret group in these churches. Even those loud mouth folks get prepared to gossip. <laughs> They'll gossip on the phone when they ain't at church for four hours, but won't pray at all. Mm. We won't straighten up the church, but we'll take up money for an hour. Why are we not getting prepared and living the way Christ say live? Not too many people want to stay in this race, y'all. They have already jumped out. You won't even go to church and praise, but you'll perform. Mm. You won't even worship, but we'll have a competition in a heartbeat with who's singing the best, who's playing the best, who's preaching the best. Now, as I feel my brother PP drawings in this video on what I'm getting ready to say next, I got to quote this like PP drawings. Let's have a living right contest. Uh oh. Oh, I feel you, PP. Let's have a living right contest and see who's going to all enter into that and, and stay in there. See, what, boy, that's powerful, PP drawings. You'll never see that contest. But we'll have a contest with music. Preachers battle each other all the time. Who's dressed the best? But let's have a contest on seeing who's going to live right. Hmm. Let's have a contest on who ain't going to get drunk today. Who ain't going to try try not to sin today. See, when you talk about stuff like that, PP John, that's over too many people here. Because most people are doing that. Let's have a contest on not sleeping around. Mm. Let's have a contest on who can pull their homosexuality, the homosexuals out of leadership in church. Let's have a contest on who going to stop shacking up the most. Let's have a contest on who going to be right today and stop getting drunk and doing all this dope. Let's have that kind of contest. Won't do that because anytime you speak the truth, you ain't going to get too many listeners. You ain't going to get too many to follow that. But we would get on one accord car for some BS in our heartbeat. Oh, let's get on one accord and vote that pastor out of here. God Almighty. We get prepared for everything else. But we won't prepare for this word of God. We won't even prepare for the second coming. Not even knowing the day or the hour. And you still doing what you want to do. Mm. Even people that sin. They know who Christ is. A lot of them really do. They know what they do is wrong. And see, somebody might think I'm just talking about people in the world. No. I'm talking about both. A lot of folks are hiding in these churches. They hide behind who they really are. They don't want to hear the truth. They want their name on their pew. They want to keep singing. They want to keep playing the instruments. They want to keep hiding the pool pit because it looks good. Just so they can say, I go to church. Well, judgment going to start at the pool pit. Even the pimp get on one accord with his hoes. Where's my money? 
And some of these preachers are saying, where's my money? Some of these preachers are only concerned about what's in your wallet and your salvation. We prepare for everything else. But when it comes to preparing for God's business, K-Ray, can't do it. I look at how dope they look. I mean, they can stay on the corner, stay on the block all day and all night. Whether they made 500 or 150, they stay out all night. See, this is the thing I loved about Paul. When Paul was saw and when he did things wrong, he had a zeal for persecuting Christians. But when he got converted over and following Christ, he kept that same zeal it was just for a different person. Once he knew better, he started doing better. He kept that same zeal he had. Instead of persecuting Christians, he started loving them. God Almighty. We prepare for everything else, but what about the coming of Christ? What about studying His Word? Why we can't prepare to get on one accord? Mm. Why is it the more sin we see in this world, the more the churches fall, the more it seems like people just don't care? We're living in some trying times. Mm. I can stay out all night till four in the morning in the club, but I can't sit in church for 20 minutes. God Almighty. When you keep on playing around with God, that's why he said those who endure to the end. I remember when Paul said the end is near. Come out of this darkness. Start living in the light. He wasn't talking to the world. He was talking to the church. There was too many things going on in the church. It's like right now. There's too many things going on in the church. But when you, can't, when you don't want to even think about straightening up. Look at how we get on one accord for these pastors' appreciations. Seems like that's the only time some of them get happy. Oh, it's appreciation time. It's pastor and wife anniversary. Well, why we won't get prepared for God like that? People break their neck and go out of their way to do things for the preacher. But when it comes to doing things for God, stop making the preacher like he's better than God because he ain't. With that being said, meditate on this video. Be blessed.